Hello, welcome to a one-on-one -on -one interview with Drexel CCI corporate partner, Lutron Electronics. Lutron offers more than 15,000 energy saving products that have saved approximately $1 billion in utility costs per year. I'm Chelsea Lowe, program coordinator for the Corporate Partners Program, and I'm happy to introduce Kim Tran, a third year information system student at Drexel CCI. Kim will be interviewing Courtney Cox, human resources, services specialist at Lutron. Kim, I'll pass it to you. Hi, so Courtney, thank you again for coming. Um, to begin, can you introduce yourself and let us know your role and some of your everyday work responsibilities? Most definitely. Thank you again for having us. I know all of, for myself and everyone at Lutron, we're very excited for the opportunity this afternoon. Uh, but my name is Courtney Cox. I'm currently the co-op coordinator here at Lutron. So my main responsibilities obviously are to manage Lutron's co-op program, uh, whether it be during the fall, spring, or summer terms. Uh, but I do also work very closely with our talent acquisition team just to provide a fantastic and a holistic candidate experience for all of our folks that come in to interview and um, whenever they interact with Lutron to ensure that they're able to interact with the team as well as some of our products. Cool, cool. So, so far, what value have you seen from partnering with Drexel CCI? Of course, so by partnering with Drexel CCI, Lutron uh, is able to have increasing opportunities just to meet and learn a little bit more about Drexel students, as well as the exceptional programs that the university provides. So particularly through our partnership, the CCI has provided a space just for Lutron to share our company's story and the exciting projects that our teams are currently working on. Uh, through these connections, Lutron's able to leverage various communication styles, whether it be a tech talk or a platform like so this afternoon, uh, just to be able to reach a captive audience and enrich the exceptional educational experience that Drexel can deliver. Yeah, I know that this um, talk really benefits everyone right now. Mm -hmm, um, definitely. <laughs> With the status of the environment becoming of paramount importance in the future, how do you see that your company is tackling this global problem? Are there any plans or products already in motion to address this? Of course. So innovation has always been at the forefront of Lutron, especially during times of change or even in times of crisis like we're seeing right now. Uh, because of this, our, our company has honestly been saving energy since the invention of the dimmer switch. So if uh, students are able to browse Lutron's website, they'll be able to see all the different projects and well-known spaces that Lutron and our customers are already choosing <laughs> different solutions to save energy while uh, being able to support the return on investment. So I know at this point in time, Lutron has many, many different uh, products and systems that focus on the environmental and cost savings impacts uh, while providing uh, just and improving the productivity of lighting in a space. Uh, one prime example that I'm able to give you is uh, very close to Lutron's headquarters here in the Lehigh Valley, our Ben Franklin Technologies partner. Their newest building was actually designed to achieve LEED gold certification. Uh, so it's relying very much so on Lutron's quantum total light management system. And with that, you're automatically able to adjust lights and shades just to save energy and reduce the electricity costs as well. Wow, that's really, really cool. <laughs> Can your lighting systems interface with any home assistant, such as um, Google Home or Amazon Alexa? They can, uh, both actually. So exciting stuff. <laughs> so how have your five principles of Lutron helps you in the, day, the age of information? Of course. So Lutron is a technology-centered and, and definitely a, a people-driven organization. So as a private corporation, we're guided by the founders, simple but very profound five principles, uh, taking care of the customer, take care of the company, take care of the people, 
innovate with high quality products and delivering value to our customers. So in the age of information, uh, and despite any changes that we have seen, because these are overarching principles and they're seen throughout all the people at our company, uh, through any age, we're able to apply them in any role as well. So I myself don't interact with our end users or our customers on a daily basis, but I'm able to kind of transfer these principles into my current role within HR uh, to understand that maybe I don't deal with customers, but our candidates can be seen as customers or our co-ops can be seen as customers. Uh, so we're able to give them that profound experience, take care of them, elevate the experience that are, uh, universities like Drexel are providing and create the marriage between coursework and actual hands-on uh, equipment and whatnot. Cool. So with these experience the co-ops bring, what types of jobs um, would you would you see recent graduates be hired for? Mm -hmm. So during our 2019 and 2020 recruiting season, despite the fact that it was very different than some of the other ones we've seen in the past, we were able to hire students within uh, mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, those with app software backgrounds, embedded software, as well as embedded firmware, data science, user experience, supply chain, accounting, IT, sales, construction management, pretty much all across the board. Yeah, that sounds about all of them, Courtney. Yeah, so we've um, been very busy, but it's, it's a very exciting time to be at Lutron. <laughs> are there any um, coding languages that are prominently used at Lutron? Most definitely. One just driving factor that I love to reinforce is Lutron when we are looking to hire folks. Uh, we're looking for those who are passionate about continued learning. So we want to invest in our people for a whole career, not just one interest area, because we totally understand that these languages are changing and as technology changes, we're looking for folks who uh, have experience in multiple different areas or are very open to learning a little bit more about others. I know right now, uh, the things that our, our engineers are working with are C Sharp, Java, Swift, JavaScript, Hulang, and Python. But always as things change, uh, it may be a few years or so before we see some new languages entering the scene. Cool. Yeah. Um, what non-technical skills are most important to you and these job applicants? Mm -hmm. So this is actually my favorite question to answer. Uh, Non-technical, because I myself am not an engineer, I love to see our job applicants and our co-ops uh, take a step back always and ask questions. I know it sounds like a no-brainer, uh, but new professionals, we often see that they cower away from asking questions because it makes you seem like maybe you don't know everything. Uh, but that's the most exciting part, being a new employee and being fresh uh, in the professional scene. Uh, you're not an expert. So being able to take that step back and ask the questions shows that you're interested in learning, you're curious about finding that fix, and you're fully engaged in figuring out a solution. Um, and with that, uh, it allows for students and young professionals to build their internal network. So always asking those questions, driving things home, and, and connecting with their peers is really important. How would you describe the company culture? Company culture. One word definitely comes to mind when thinking of Lutron's culture. It's definitely family. <laughs> We're a family-oriented organization. The company is built on tradition and teamwork, innovation, a commitment to one another and our customers, but we definitely have a few very unique quirks that makes us original and, <laughs> and family-like. Uh, but at the end of the day, no matter how you arrive or how you're leaving the office, you know that at the very end of the day, the people around you and the company has your best interest in mind. That was very sweet, Courtney. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> Glad to hear it. Um, what's your favorite part about working at Lutron? So my favorite part about working at Lutron is definitely our people. I'm very lucky uh, and honest to say that I'm excited to go to work every single day. Not only do I get to work with some of the best minds and the greatest minds in our industry, uh, but I get to leave every single afternoon knowing that I learned something new or I had the opportunity to learn something new. 
Uh, and with that, bringing it back to our, our five principles, having such a strong foundation at Lutron aids the fact that people care <laughs> and there's even a, a undercurrent of care within all of the levels of our organization. So when you're able to fully invest and focus on your role and your position here at the company, um, there's always somebody who's going to notice a strength that you have that you may not even notice in yourself. So uh, by investing in our people and having the good people around us, they can uh, give you different opportunities uh, to grow within the company. And with that, you're obviously a lot more than just a number at Lutron. So that's always been of big importance to me. Yeah, wow. This is a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully a good amount, uh, a good a lot. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes. Well, Courtney, thank you so much for joining us today and sharing more about Lutron. It was great to hear more from your perspective on the company. And Kim, thank you so much for, for interviewing today. <laughs> sure. Ah, well, thank you both. I really, again, appreciate your time and giving us the platform to be able to express our thanks from all of Lutron and keep the partnership going.